this video is going to be about building your own um, file or web server. Today, or this video, I'm just going to show you um, choosing your parts. So, a s server is all about pref two things performance and reliability. You want um, your components to be really, really high performing so then you don't have bottlenecks or access bandwidth problems or things like that and you want really high reliability to maximize uptime so for motherboards right here I just have a standard ATI motherboard um, it's a single processor and has a maximum of one and a half gigabytes of RAM I and that it has, it's pretty good for what I'm using it for right now, which is just a network file server and um, a soon to be web server. Um, for the processor, I have a single Pentium 3, um, 858 megahertz. I've overclocked it to that, it was originally at 800. Um, dual processors work. You can get uh, dual processor motherboards and things that have like two xenon processors or um, two uh, Pentium 3 or Pentium 4 processors and one thing and what that does is that it they operate independently between each other so you get a big big boost of um, performance so basically it just duplif duplifies almost everything you get two north bridges two south bridges and two um, ram banks you can even get things like quad processor motherboards, but those are only um, needed for very, very high performance servers like uh, really, really, really high traffic web servers and things like that. Over in the drive bays, I have two IDE drives. You don't really need um, really big drives for this or for a really fast drives for this I just have one 40 gig um, storage drive and one 20 gig boot drive running Ubuntu server edition and actually it's I can dual boot it with a USB drive to Windows but it lowers the performance right here this is one thing that you do want to have is to um, network cards. Now, a ne the network card that you want to choose is one that's very, very high bandwidth. So, um, these two are 100 megabit per second cards. You can get a thousand megabit per second cards. Those are, um, recommended. And you can even get one card that has dual LAN outputs. I just have two cards right now. Um, video card mm, doesn't really matter just a video card that you can hook a monitor to this server is headless but for troubleshooting I'll put a um, the old CRT on there just to troubleshoot it um, over here I have a 300 watt um, power supply you can get two power supplies sometimes for redundancy so that if one fails and you can put in another or the other one will kick in that's a good idea for ones that do mission critical work or that need to be up for a really really long time um, you can even get cards so you can hot swap IDE um, hard drives so if one fails then you can just plop in a new one and format it and there you go um, I have one CD drive um, right there, a CD drive doesn't really matter, just one that can read and write to drives, normally just read. I have a floppy drive for boot disks and recovery and things like that, and drivers. And for the RAM, you can use EC, oh, you can use ECC RAM. I'm just using 658 megabytes of PC133. SD RAM um, B 
because as I said all I'm using this for is not really high perform or not really high demand things it's just a small file server for my house so I can put like my work on there and then it is going to eventually be hosting the QSAW Studio site so and that doesn't really need it depending on how many people I get on there it doesn't really and I don't really have too many people going on there right now so I don't need that much performance but the air how ECC RAM works is that it checks every bit before it goes through every bit of information before it goes to anything else so then it um, and if it finds an error it can actually correct that error and um, it's a very expensive RAM though like I think one um, a one gigabyte stick of um, ECC for um, a HP server. It was it, it's DDR uh, DDR two I think. It was like eighteen no not eighteen. What am I saying? Nine thousand five hundred and eighty off of Newegg. So yeah, it's very very expensive RAM. And, I got these for free from some of the other computers that I've been given just to take apart and rebuild and refurbish and stuff like that. But that's end of part, this is going to be the end of part one, and part two will just be putting it together and stuff like that, and then I'll show you how to configure it with um, Ubuntu and, um, Micros and Microsoft. XP. I know some of you are going to be like, oh, it's XP. You, It's not a server, it's a GUI, but um, it works fine. So, and I'll show you also how to, once I figure it out totally, how to use um, IIS, is, which is a web hosting thing, so you can host your own website on your own server. So, this is Kevin Humphrey from QSoft Studios, and thank you for watching.